Good morning, Cyber Traders, and happy Tuesday on this 12th of September. Good to see you, Amy, JJ, Mark, good to see you, George, Harry, good to see you, Grant, Brockway, good to see you, John. You know, you know what's nice about doing these um, these meetings, and uh, and I, I'm sitting there looking at the chat board. I'm telling you, it's just great how you guys get along so well. Um, and and basically, this is really a important time in a way of you guys bonding together. Because remember, when we're going out there and we're trading together, guys, we're out there for the same thing. It's not against you and me. It's against us. Against the uneducated people in the world. And, and that's what you have to understand. And when you're a new student here at CyberTrade University, or you've been here for a while, you start realizing, because it's one of the biggest things that we preach um, when it comes to trading to be very successful, you're only as good as the team you surround yourself with. And that's where everyone starts to realize that this is not, you can't do this by yourself. they be part of a team. So it's just great to see you guys getting along. I just want to kind of bring that up. In the meantime, everybody, uh, we're really, like I said yesterday, we're really in the thick of things. There's just been so much good action. I told you this was going to happen. Once September comes around, once Labor Day is over, you know, we're going to have a lot of action going on in the market. There are stocks that are up 50%, down 20%. And, that, and, and, and in the summertime, we, we were lucky getting like three or four in the morning. Now we're getting, which we always would want to focus on, is getting 10 stocks to add to the watch list. So there's been a lot of great action going on there. All right. Now, uh, before before we start going to what we traded yesterday and, um, you know, and uh, regarding about, uh, you know, the, the watch list for this morning, I just want to kind of just remind everybody about the uh, – hold on. I'm just grab it up when I can get it. There we go. All right. So for everybody here, just a reminder about the on-site. Uh, tomorrow we have a soiree. And the soiree is going to be from 5 to 7 o'clock uh, downstairs um, in a private room. And uh, so once again, when you come here, I know a lot of you guys are going to be leaving early. A lot of you are already on your way here to, to travel uh, to the hotel. Um, but just remember, guys, uh, we'll be all meeting tomorrow at 5 to 7 for a soiree for all of us. We're going to have some, uh, you know, some wine, some entertainment, you know, some, uh, some appetizers. It's just fun to get to meet everyone. Um, it's always a fun event to kind of get ready and, and then get to the thick of things tomorrow morning. So um, the room will be open for you guys to go out there and set up your computers. It's going to be locked up for some of you for the on-site. So if you want to get there and set up your computers and, and book your spots, you're more than happy to. And uh, just look forward to seeing everybody there. And then, just like I said, anything you guys need to know, we'll be there and uh, just get ready for all the great features and festivities that we're going to have. But remember, the, uh, we're going to have the blue carpet dinner uh, with Mike Slockis on, um, on Thursday night, and then we're going to be trading for the next two days. Remember, for everyone here, just keep in mind, this is a Phase 4 class, and this is where we strictly focus on live trading, working together, and trading together. And I always look at it as being a very great way to bond with everybody to kind of, you know, I always find that you guys, when you do come to the on-site, you do so much better when you, when you know who your, your, your fellow constituents are when you're trading with. And also, um, you know, and, and, and like I said, so we have a lot going on there, so look forward to it. Uh, and then, uh, guys, also remember that if you can't make it, if you can't make it, um, you can still do the webcast. We are webcasting it, so you, you know you could always come to the webcast. And then, last but not least, I'm going to be doing a very, very big, big push for this. I want you guys to come to the trading summit. If you can't come on site, you could do it online. It is a very inexpensive, fun festivity. We're going to be doing a tour of the CBOE. Um, trade Station is 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 going, is our lead sponsor for it. Uh, you're talking some of the greatest minds in trading. So um, if you guys haven't had a chance to register for this uh, and you can't make the on-site, at the minimum, at the minimum, you guys got to come to the to this, come to the Chicago event. You got plenty of time. I just bought my plane tickets from New York. I couldn't believe. You know, it's one one thing I love about traveling at this time of the year. I was able. You, you could get you could get plane tickets out of New York for $150 round trip. You know. So I mean. It's such an inexpensive event to go to. It's at a beautiful hotel, and uh, it's a great venue, and it's uh, it's the first annual one we're going to do, so look forward to seeing a lot of you there.
All right. Now, let's get right into the thick of things because, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of good things that are going on. Let's talk about what happened yesterday. There were a couple of good movers out there that I want to talk about. Uh, first of all, the big, big winner was the TEVA. A lot of you are looking at it this morning because it is kind of like um, picking up where it left off yesterday. Uh, the, would they come out? The news on their new CEO. Well, obviously, somebody likes him. So anyway, great, great winner yesterday. I'm adding it back on the watch list. This stock was a $60 stock. Look where it went. We're all the way down to almost 15 bucks, And now it's making a little bit of a comeback. So I'm keeping that one on the watch list. Remember what I told a lot of you here um, to be a very successful swing trader, be a very successful, you know, investor. You have to first learn how to day trade. It is, it is ve because what happens over the course of the day will, will trickle down, you know, um, into a swing trade. And you could see the stock. If you drove, if you watched TVA and you kept holding it on and like, ah, maybe we'll come back, maybe we'll come back, maybe we'll come back. And then boom, you're, here you're down 50% of your money. You wake up the next morning and boom, you're down to 15. You know how many people um, that I trained back in, in, in 2008 that were asking me, Fausto, how much lower could Citibank go? And that was at $34. And when it went to 15, people were ready to jump out of the windows. I'm like, honestly, next support level is eight. Well, we all know where Citibank uh, went that day. It went all the way down to a dollar, okay? And you know how many people sold it at a dollar? Two dollars, because you couldn't take it anymore, and now look what happened. And if you knew what was happening as it was happening, as a day trader, you, you know, believe me, this is like, you know, the best things in sliced bread. That's why you have to learn what's going on. And remember, one of the biggest things that we teach at Cybertrain University is not about making money. It's about controlling the losses, and that's what's key. So that one was actually a really good winner right there yesterday. A lot of you guys did really well with it. Another big winner, which was the NLNK trade. Um, that one also had a nice little um, – had a little couple of nasty shakes there in and out. But, you know, once again, nice little push, you know, had, an, you know, had it the day before was great, backed off, hit major support levels, 1560, went right back up to 1750, another nice winner, HIIQ, another um, great stock with a short, that stock got destroyed, and once it hit the major support levels, uh, right around the middle of the day, it came back, but I don't know if it was on your short list. Um, it was a scalping stock, which, by the way, we're going we're gonna to do a class, a lesson on it um, for the on-site when you guys are here. But that one also did pretty good. And then I know everyone just keeps talking about the Hertz, the Hertz, the Hertz. I mean, this thing is just like, you know, listen, we traded Hertz, and we did it in phase three. And let me tell you something. You got to be really careful with Hertz. Hertz is a nasty stock. It's not that easy to trade uh, when it comes to trading Hertz. Um, you see how the thing just came up and did all these damn nasty shakes, and you're talking about 20 cent shakes, and boom, the thing goes up. So you got to just be at the right place at the right time. But Hertz has some nasty, nasty shakes. All right. Now, what are we doing uh, for this morning? What's adding uh, to our list? All right. So everybody ready? S. A G E. Now I know this is um, obviously not in everyone's price range, but you know what? When you think um, you want to play with the big boys, and I hear people says, "Oh, I don't deal with ten dollars stocks, fifteen dollars stocks. They don't do anything." All right, go ahead, go trade a ninety dollars stock, and then boom, you wake up in the morning down thirty more points. By the way, how much lower could this stock go? Well, you should have probably knew that in the TEVA because. If this thing could go down to zero, <laughs> right? So anyway, uh, but it is building some support levels right here. You can see it's got some nice, nice support levels right around these prices, around 63, which we got some time. Um, if it breaks this one right here at 66, then definitely at 63. But, you know, once again, pharmaceutical stocks, you know they don't come back. ALDX, another one. Great, great little pop. A lot of you guys uh, got in early this morning at 8.30 in this position. Nice little scalping stock, but it, um, but remember, it, it's got a big spread. It's a scalping stock, but it's also it had a nice little Fausto flag here in the morning. So that one, you guys doing pretty good. That made the watch list. A, E, M, D. Another little um, Fausto flag going on right now. That stock was a $9 stock. Took a big, big hit, went down to a dollar. It's been having a nice little push lately. That one's going to make the watch list. You know, up literally 56% on the day right now. Really, really nice little mover. That one's going to make our watch list. CTIC, another one. It's so funny. They're like all 
They're like all easy pharmaceutical stocks is it? or in the medical stocks. It's like weird. And, and, and people are like, oh, I don't like to trade those. Listen, money's money. I don't care what your interests are. I mean, I, I guess everyone's heard about the big news about Apple today, right? Apple iPhone's coming out. And, um, you know, Apple's doing great. But, you know, over and I, you know what? Apple, in the long run, if, if it's a good phone and they start selling a lot of them, it's going to do great. I, you know, whatever it may be. But once again, who's going to go out there and tie up $161,000, right? Uh, Chris says, Fausto, I like the IC uh, PT trade. That, I didn't add that one to the list. I, I had that one also. That one also is taking a big hit also. It's testing major support levels, which you could see right there uh, on the long term. And it's kind of bouncing back. But once again, Chris, another pharmaceutical stock. Got to be careful. All right. HIIQ, add that one to your watch list. Another stock um, taking a little bit of a dead cap bounce. Stock got crushed from 35 all the way down to 20. Once again, you don't like stocks that go up that fast. Whatever goes down up, um, up so fast comes down twice as fast. Um, so that's another thing. TVA we're going to add. And the last one I want to ask and uh, add, and I was talking to Josh about this one uh, this morning, the I's, the E Y E S. Now, this stock was a $10 stock, broke lower lows, all right? Now it's starting to build a little bit of a base right here. It's starting to try to make a little bit of a comeback. I don't know if it's a swing trade. Uh, you know, it had that little pop right at, right around that uh, 3 o'clock uh, time frame. You saw some of you guys saw that stock go from 110 to 140 and then backed off. But I'm going to put that one on the watch list also. Um, you know, you, you know, you, might, you know my nose. It's something smells fishy here. And, uh, you know, when I see things like that, and we all see things like that, and we've seen it in the past, this is something that, you know, we, we kind of, where we make most of our money. Just like what you said, uh, JJ, the dryers, right? Didn't I tell you, like, the ones that keep saying, like, some little fishy with this dryers trade. You know, like, dryers is kind of like, I don't know, something's with the dryers that really doesn't smell right. And um, and sure enough, it's starting to, to peak back up. I, listen, I have it as a, a long-term swing trade. I own it. I know some of you guys own it with me at a dollar fifty, and we could have bought it at a dollar with all the bad news and all the things that came out. Held pretty strong, right? So um, it's actually was my biggest winner um, last month uh, of August. Made my most money on on this one single stock. And some of you saw it on the YouTube and stuff like that, and we traded it. But once again, it's like being at the right place at the right time. Uh, we traded eyes in the past. We did grant, we did, and we did well on it. But you know what? If you go back to it and you look at the numbers where you got out of it, you probably say, man, thank God I did sell it. My God, I thought it was a good company. Listen, one thing you learn being a trader, there's no such thing of a good company. Uh, like one of my mentors always taught me, and I always teach my students this. I'm going to pass over the wisdom over to you. They always tell me, this is Fausto, once you think you know something about the stock market, you're going to lose. And why is that? It's not what you think. It's where the buyers and sellers think. And always remember that. All right, guys. Listen, good luck today, everyone. Happy trading. If I don't, I know a lot of you guys are going to be traveling today. So I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. So get excited. If you still want to get in um, to the on-site, if you live local or whatever, you're more than happy to come. Um, if you can't make it, you could always do the, um, you could always do the webcast. So uh, be, be able to see that. So hopefully get you guys all ready for that for tomorrow. So we're gonna be we're gonna be packed this week. All right. So a lot of good stuff going on. Happy to see everybody. Good luck. Have drive safe. And uh, for some of you that couldn't make it, want to join us for the next one? We do it. We'll have another one that we do in April or May. All right. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.